Traumatic Brain Injury Recovery. I was driving home from uh, getting some groceries. I was in Rancho Santa Fe on El Camino del Norte. I was driving on a straightaway, it was dark, and all of a sudden, a vehicle hit me head on, and that was really the last I could recall. I was on 60 Minutes with Ed Bradley, mm -hmm. and at the end of the session, he said, Barry, you gotta write this book. Mm -hmm. And so I dedicated my book, A Bum Deal, mm -hmm. in his name. I was also writing a second book called Streetlight to Spotlight. Uh -huh. It was about these famous celebrities that were homeless at one time. I had just got back, actually, from Washington, D.C. I was visiting my friend who actually was the chef for President Obama. Oh. And he had written a book. He invited a bunch of his guests to go to the National Press Club. Well, I think one of the problems was I wasn't the same person I was. Mm. And that was real difficult. I would cry a lot, I would laugh a lot. Emotionally, I was just like a five-year-old at times. A five-year-old? And my thought process wasn't really good. I couldn't, I didn't like talking to people. Oh. I stayed away from people. You withdrew? I, I realized right away that it probably would be a long recovery. Mm. and I wouldn't be able to be the person I was, mm -hmm. which was very depressing. A lot of my friends who wouldn't come see me because they felt so bad for me, and that was hard also. They stayed away? Because I wasn't the same person that they knew at that time. Are you saying that? There were a, a doctor, a couple of doctors felt that I had frontal temporal dementia. Really? And that I would be a vegetable in three to four months and dead in three years. And obviously that frightened me and my significant other was, you know, crying and having an emotional breakdown. And at that time, you know, you start thinking of suicide tendency. Uh, you find yourself getting tired maybe in three or four hours, maybe two hours. Mm -hmm. And I learned if you get tired, your brain is telling you something, so go rest. That's right. And that's what I do. Well, it's getting brighter. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if I'll ever be 100%. Mm -hmm. but. Um, being 65 to 70 percent, and a lot of my doctors said it would take two to three years, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it is doing that. Yeah. You know, I think when you get older, three years is a lot of years. Time is precious, and I think that's the other thing you realize. Everything is more precious mm -hmm. because you, you want to do things that you haven't done or were unable to do. You have to find a doctor that you relate to, and you feel that you get great information from it. It's going to really help you. Mm -hmm. um, and I went through, a, you know, from neuropsychologist to psychiatrist, and a lot of them, you know, it was pretty difficult. I, I didn't feel I was getting the help, getting over-medicated. So there were other medicines? I was that... taking like five to seven medicines a day. I see. But well, what was that for? I had no idea. Really? Okay. I mean, that's the frustrating part because you couldn't make your own decisions. Mm -hmm. It was hard for you to read the labels and say and, and what the dangerous parts of these medications are. There has to be a better spectrum of ways to meet different doctors that can help you with your mind and with your, your body mm -hmm. and, and your emotions. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that the people in the mental health field have to work together mm -hmm. to work with these individuals and, and just the medication, not just throw out medication, but you don't know, have someone actually control the medicine that goes into the person's body. Mm -hmm. And you also learn who your friends are. Yes. And, and also, you know, the people that you ask why they didn't show up. And, and a lot of them have good reasons. They don't want to see you in that physical position. Yeah. But, you know, friends are friends, and friends give their heart to them. I don't think there's a lot of support groups out there mm -hmm. um, that you can go to and say, yeah, we've been through this. Mm -hmm. We can help you with this. Mm -hmm. We can help you see the light. Mm -hmm. And I know you're in darkness now, and you know, we'll, you have to take small steps, but you'll get there. Mm -hmm. It's a journey to get better. Mm -hmm. and it takes a while, mm -hmm. and you have to know when to stop. If you get tired, you have to say to yourself, stop. Right. And it's hard to do because you really want to go, 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 mm -hmm. go, let the energize better. But you may not be the same person. 
That's right. And it'll take time, and um, with a lot of prayers and a lot of help from your friends, and um, you'll make it. Please like, subscribe, and comment on this video.